What's going on guys, Cliff and Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so we're back up here at Sunrise Outfitters in Searcy, Arkansas. And today we are here to talk about the bow that has probably been most recommended on my page, which is the SR350 by Bowtech. Um, I have shot this bow before. I have not shot it at the specs that we do all of our videos on. And so I can already tell you it's a shooter. 110% this bow is a shooter. But what we're here to do today is talk about that true hunting speed, guys. And so what we do with the true hunting speed is we take the IBO hashtag clickbait, we throw it out the window. We take the bows, we set them over the 65 pound pool, 28 inch draw with a 460 grain deer crossing archery arrow. Um, we take three shots to the chrono and we call it the true hunting speed. So guys, I understand some guys pull more, some guys pull less, some guys got a longer draw cycle, some guys have a shorter. Basically what this is, is give you an idea of another setup bounced off of that IBO so you get a real expectation from a tree. So let's go ahead and talk about this SR350 real quick. It is 4.4 pounds. It goes from a uh, 25 to a 30 inch draw length. Um, so you guys with them real long draw cycles, I'm so sorry, but this shooter bow isn't for you. Um, 350 foot per second is the IBO. Axle axle is 33 inches, so it is one of the little bit longer axle axle bows. Um, so some of you guys will appreciate that. It's got a six inch brace height um, and the draw weight you can get it with a 50, 60, and 70. So with these new Bowtechs, one thing that we talked about in the last Bowtech video, we'll talk about in this one, you've got two different options. So you have the performance standard and then you have the comfort standard. I like speed, so what we're gonna do first, guys, we're gonna shoot this thing on performance, so don't leave at the end of this video because we will be coming back in here. We'll get the tech to swap everything over to comfort, and then we're gonna do this exact same thing in a comfort. So anyways, that is the SR350. We're gonna quit talking about it. We're gonna get to being about it. We're gonna get this thing outside, take three shots, and give you that true hunting speed. Y'all stick with us, we'll see you in a minute. What's going on, guys? So we're set up outside now. Again, we've got this Bowtech SR350. We're up here, Searcy, Arkansas, at Sunrise Outfitters. Um, again, guys, if you come up here and you buy a bow, they most certainly have a range inside. However, whenever I uh, bought my Chrono, I did not buy the light kit, and I don't have enough light inside to be able to do this. And I want to get as accurate as I can for you guys so we're outside taking these shots. But anyways, guys, again, what we're here to do is get that true hunting speed. So we got this SR350 with the performance mods. We've got it set up at a 28 inch draw, 65 pound pull, a 460 grain deer crossing archery arrow. We're gonna take three shots to this thing, take the average of those three, call it the true hunting speed. Let's get after it. Shot number one, we've got 269. Shot number two, two, seven, zero. I know you guys seen that little smirk. That's because once you get up in them 270s with that 65 pound pool and a 460 grain arrow, boy, you're cooking. Two hundred and seventy foot per second. So if you kind of seen me hold back there just for a second, it's thinking while I'm shooting, right? This thing and their carbon bow are so similar as far as draw cycles. It's insane. Um, really and truly, if I was coming to get one of these two bows, it would literally be like, do I want to shoot a carbon bow or do I not? Because they're basically the same bow. Obviously, this bow's got a little bit more speed to it. 
but when it comes to draw cycles i know everybody talks about the performance mods they're so you know everybody wants to bad mouth stuff and they're like oh it's so extreme it's so extreme no it's not um these botex it's smooth all the way through it has a slight hump in the top but all in all it <laughs> it's a shooter's bow it feels good it holds good um for me it does feel like it is a little top heavy but all in all it's a shooting bow and obviously like it's got some speed to it 270 foot per second um i like the grip on it it's actually a little bit thicker this direction uh but i do like it's hard for you to see there's there's a divot right there and and for me i like that portion of it because it kind of keeps me uh reminds me to fold my fingers around but all in all man that is a great shooting bow remember in these bows we also have the whisker biscuits so you can expect a little bit more speed getting a drop away rest but in general awesome bow awesome bow that's performance mods y'all give us just a minute we're gonna get in here have the mod swapped over we're gonna shoot it on comfort see what it does all right guys we're back out here with this sr 350 and now we are fixing to do the exact same thing with the true hunting speed still set up 28 inch draw 65 pound pull 460 grain deer crossing archery arrow the only difference in between now and while ago is we have this on the comfort setting so uh it says i think by specs you're supposed to lose four to seven foot per second so we're going to shoot this thing see what it does we got the true hunting speed while going performance at 270 foot per second so let's go ahead and get to shooting Shot number one is 259. Shot number two, 259. Shot number three is also 259. I've said this about Bowtech before and their high end bows, and I'm gonna say it again right now. Just the absolute consistency in shot to shot to shot to shot to shot in, um, in the speeds. But here nor there, so we got 259. So I guess it actually lost about 10 foot per second. Is that a big deal? Not really, but I'm gonna say the same thing that I said to me. I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying you're right. But to me, I don't feel like there's enough difference in between the performance and um, and the comfort mods for me to go one way or the other. Uh, I think I would stay on performance. Now, I obviously don't have any shoulder issues and I, I, I do understand that some guys do. So let me just tell you my opinion on those mods. And my opinion on those mods is it's that final hump. That's the difference in between the two. So you go to performance, that last few inches you've got that little tough hump to go over the top of on comfort there is no hump it's just smooth it's all the way through it's a little bit slower but it's more consistent like it is i do understand the difference i'm just saying for me and the way that i shoot i'm sticking with performance guys 110 percent. that's just what i would do but uh hey guys that is the sr350 that is the performance mods that is the comfort mods and that is your true hunting speed we got 270 with the performance mods we got 259 with the comfort mods um it's a shooter's bow 110 percent i mean i've said it before i'll say it again i mean bowtech is a bowtech they've been around forever for a reason they're a good shooting bow guys uh 
again if you're going out to look for a new bow i tell everybody the same thing when guys ask me my opinion on what bow to shoot and my opinion is is go shoot every one you can get your hands on they all just a little bit different and at the end of the day you want something that fits you the best go shoot them all but when you go to do that if you're looking for a bow tech make sure you come by cersei and um you swing by sunrise outfitters up here and and shoot these bow techs man see what they've got to offer um i appreciate you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe go back to that home page hit that little bell up top you never know what kind of bow we're going to be doing and you never know what shop we're going to be in i enjoy this just as much as you guys do i like to go all to the different shops meet all the different um techs see the knowledge that they have across the state it's outstanding um yeah that's it man so until next time guys we'll see you from a tree good hunting